welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. And today we're finally going to be getting into our coffee lovers gift guide. Okay. So whether you're buying a gift for yourself and treating yourself this holiday season, or you're buying gifts for a loved one, these are maybe some of the things that I would recommend as a fellow lover of coffee, um, to get those that you love and maybe even to treat yourself with. So I say we get into it starting with machines. Okay. And of course, I'm joined by a wonderful holiday beverage, a peppermint mocha iced coffee with a shot of espresso, okay? And the reason for that is because we gotta be hyped for this video, okay? I love coffee making and coffee loving. I love gift giving and I love the holiday season overall. So this is gonna be a really hype video for me and I'll put the recipe for this down below in case you wanna drink with me at home while we're going through my coffee lover's guide. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is machines, like I said, and you guys already know, the machine market is so vast to the point that it can be kind of overwhelming, okay? And the best advice that I can give somebody like you all watching this video about buying a coffee machine for somebody you love or care about in any way, shape, or form is to use the experiences of the person you're trying to buy the machine for. So what do I mean by that? I'll give myself as an example. So in college, right, I was always going out to buy coffee. I was a big coffee drinker, but I never made it at home. I was always going to my local Starbucks, going to my local Dunkin', going to my university coffee shop to buy latte-based beverages. And I had a Keurig in college um, that made, of course, drip-style coffee, and I never used it because I just never understood why it didn't taste the way that coffee shops make it. And of course, I started to work for Starbucks later on in college and realized the reason for that. But overall, you know, when I had that drip style machine, I just thought coffee was coffee, et cetera. And, and for some reason, my coffee didn't taste good at home, but it tasted better out. That's really the only thing I'm starting with, okay? And there are many people who watch my videos or who are out there or that you love who feel the same way. They don't really know the differences between maybe espresso, drip style coffee, French press, et cetera. But all they know is that they have their favorite order at a coffee shop and, and they don't know why it tastes so much better than at home. They don't even know where to start with making coffee. They don't know the ingredients that they need or the ratios. And that's totally fine. That is where you, as somebody watching my video, can step in and get them the right machine or get them the right accessories or right materials or right ingredients to make the coffee that they love at home and save them a whole lot of money in the long run. So with that, I'll give some general recommendations. If you have somebody that really loves and goes between iced coffees and lattes like myself, or, you know, maybe cold brew style coffees, you can do a variety of things. You could do a Nespresso Virtual machine. Um, if you want, if they're strictly like a latte person, maybe go for an original line machine. You could also get them different apparatuses. You could get them an AeroPress, which is a more manual press machine. Um, I will say this is a little bit more work at the end of the day, especially they don't have a, a coffee grinder um, and they don't know how to buy finely ground coffee. So maybe that won't be like the best thing for people that are just starting out, but it is an option that's a cheaper way to make espresso. If they're more of an iced coffee or a cold brew lover, then maybe get them one of those cold brew apparatuses that they can put in the fridge. I, I also have a French press and you can easily make cold brew out of that. So those are some ideas. And overall, you know, the more experience that somebody has, maybe the more expensive the machine might become. Um, I can't give super big recommendations on the different types of manual machines. I know certain brands, I know some of their pros and cons. And I'll say that if you want, you know, if, maybe if you're someone like me that's never really had a manual espresso machine before where you dial it in, do all this fun stuff, etc. outside of work or at home, like you've never had a machine like that in your home where you dial it in by yourself, but you know generally a lot about coffee because again, I've worked at these places where I've had to use certain machines like that or I just read up a lot on how to make coffee or watch videos on that, maybe it's a good idea to buy them more of a starter manual machine like a Breville where there's a whole lot of how-to videos on the internet for how to do that. Now, if you want recommendations for a specific Nespresso Virtuo or a specific Nespresso Original Line machine, I will say that one, I love my Virtuo Plus. I think it makes a variety of different types of coffee that I usually drink. If you know somebody that usually likes to make big batches of almost drip style coffee, maybe you wanna go for the Virtuo NX machine or the Virtuo Pop machine like I was talking about because they have those big like Alto pods, et cetera, where they can brew it in kind of like a carafe, which you cannot do with the Virtuo Plus. If you, somebody that you're trying to buy a machine for loves hot coffee, maybe think about buying them sort of like something like this, an espresso critista. I don't think it's really necessary. I think this machine is very expensive and maybe I'll do a full review on it 
but you can always get them a separate milk frother or something along the lines of that or gift a milk frother in general um, to that person rather than buying them a whole machine. And we'll get into that in just a second. But the reason I suggest this Cretista for um, coffee lovers that love their coffee hot is because I usually like I use the, the steam wand fairly often over the holidays or whenever it gets cold, especially for TJ because he works really early in the morning and he wants a hot cup of coffee. But me, myself, I tend to go for iced coffee. So having a steam wand maybe isn't the biggest priority when buying a machine for myself. Um, if you know somebody that's fairly good with making coffee but wants to try their latte art, maybe get them a machine like that. Um, I will say it's hard to achieve like latte art and stuff like that on just a regular milk frother like what I have in the back, the bottom back there, which I'll talk about in just a second. But these are all things to consider and different things about buying the machine. Any machine or apparatus that I have talked about and or have had personally will be included and linked in my Amazon storefront below as well as just listed in my show notes if you guys are interested um so yeah i highly recommend you guys check those out um but we'll get into other parts of the coffee lover gift card like accessories personally i think coffee accessories are like the best gift you can give a coffee lover especially if that coffee lover is kind of like me where they're already into the groove of coffee making at home they make cute little drinks at home they love making coffee all the time at home they have a machine that they really like and they're just trying to make their coffee bar really cute or maybe they're doing coffee content or something like that and you know they they want to show off cool little devices and stuff in their videos or cool little ways to make coffee in their videos and so i really like that i've actually requested some different options on my wish list for my family 2.0 so i really do think that coffee accessories really make a gift for a coffee lover and they really don't have to be expensive like a machine does okay and a couple of the ones that i've really been liking over the past few months or probably even a year now, one of them is a milk frother. So you can do different ones. You can do handhelds that are like, you know, 10 to $15. You don't have to spend too much money on a milk frother, especially if somebody likes cold foam and they really don't drink hot coffee like that and they don't have like a steam wand or anything like that. You can literally just get a nice handheld frother. There's also more expensive ones out on the market right now, like a nano foamer. And I'll put a picture of that or link it in my Amazon storefront. But it's supposed to make like a really nice, like if you warm up your milk in the microwave or on the stove or something like that and put it in with the nano frother afterwards, it's supposed to make a really nice microphone to the point that you can actually do latte art with the nano foamer. But I think that that really only matters if you're somebody that drinks hot coffee and want to practice your latte art at home without buying a, a big machine or anything with a steam wand. So all about the preferences of a person. But overall, I've really been liking this, especially um, the Bodum, I think it's the barista milk frother or something like that. I'll put the actual name of it in the show notes below as well as on my Amazon storefront. I think it's already there right now. Um, but if it isn't, I definitely will. The reason that I like this more than the other bone fr frother they have on the market right now, as well as like the Arochino and stuff like that, is because this actually has three different settings for frothing milk. For example, it does really, really frothy hot milk, like a cappuccino style. It does like lighter foam, hot style. You can also take the whisk out to just heat up your milk on the stand over there. And it does cold foam. So it does like basically a three in one or a four in one really. And it's really awesome. And then it also has like a magnetic whisk and everything like that. Again, you can take it out for washing, for just heating up your milk. Everything is wa like dishwasher compatible. So you can put it in, don't have to worry about hand washing because Lord knows I hate washing dishes. <laughs> and it's just really, it's a nice little apparatus. And honestly, I like the way and how frothy it is in comparison to like my Cretista. And the reason I say that is because this is really good for latte art, but if you're really wanting that cappuccino style foam with alternative milk, especially, I really like the barista um, bottom frother just because unfortunately I feel like one, maybe some of the like different milk frothers aren't dishwasher compatible. They're harder to clean um, and you don't want to get all water on like the cords and the electricity and stuff like that. And I don't think the Arochino is like machine wash or anything. You have to do it by hand. But also, again, I like making cold foam, right? Like, and so this can make cold foam and I don't always have to wash my handheld frother or whatever it may be. So I think that's a really good accessory. Um, another thing that I've really been liking is like little espresso pours. I got this glass one a while ago because my other one kept breaking. This has actually held up really, really good over the last like few months. And it came in a pack of two. Again, it's on my Amazon, but I actually wanted to buy more espresso pours. So that's another accessory that's on my gift list right now. 
And then another thing that you could buy is something to put syrups in. I really like these um, bitter style bottles. Um, I don't, I like them just clear without the design or anything. I know some people buy them with like the cute little glass designs on them. I like them just plain clear. I also like the gold tips on them. And then sometimes they come with labels, but I like using the chalk labels just because I feel like they might be a little bit easier to clean than having to take off a label and stuff and possibly ruin the glass bottle. So I have a little set of like four on a little Lazy Susan looking thing on my coffee bar. And these are really just the four ones that I find myself using as staples. So I have vanilla, salted caramel, caramel, um, and a white chocolate syrup over in that little area. And then I keep my other syrups in a, in a, uh, what was it? A cabinet that I'm very embarrassed to, to look at because there's so many in there. I need to do an updated video for 2024 or something like that or 2023, whatever I want to call it, um, of my favorite syrups. Okay. So that's definitely what I'm going to be doing in the next few months. Keep a lookout on that because I have bought some more syrups, especially holiday ones. So. And it's important to know that this is not the limit of what type of accessories you can buy. There are spice art pens that you can do latte art with or spice art with on top of your coffee. There's little stencils that you can get people that make really cute, um, you know, accessories for making, you know, spice and latte art. There's different milk latte art pens and stuff like that. And again, I can link some of these down below and on my Amazon storefront. But just remember, you know, milk pitchers, anything like that also make really, really good gifts. And I, I'm, I'm all for that personally. And along the same vein of coffee accessories, you can also get them ways to store their coffee. Now, this is going to depend on the type of person and the machine that they have. But for somebody like me who has pods, I really just enjoy having like cute little pod drawers back there. I have all of it on Amazon right now. Um, I also got some containers from the container store and they're under there and they hold all my overflow pods. I also have stuff behind me up here that has a whole lot of like different loose coffee packets, um, different ground coffees, teas, etc. So if somebody really likes drinking tea or somebody has ground coffee that they don't really know what to do with, you can get them the airtight containers that help keep the ground coffee or the coffee beans especially very fresh so that they don't have to make stale cups of coffee. Um, you can also just get them plain containers like what I have. I think I got them at like Marshalls or something like that. Very, very cheap, but just a cute little way to give them a nice personalized little gift. I'm sure at Etsy, you can like, you know, personalize all these little containers and make it really, really cute. But these are just some of the ideas for people that maybe do more pot style coffee or more drip style coffee. If you know somebody that's into manual espresso making, the accessories are absolutely endless. Like you could buy them different porta filters, you can buy them different pucks to put on top of the porta filter in the grounds to help with the even distribution of water in their porta filter. You can do a tamping mat, different tams. I mean, it's it's endless. Like so many gift ideas just right then and there and making them personalized on different websites and stuff like that can also help as well. Now, I know I've been going on and on and on about accessories. However, there is one last thing that I think deserves its own category. Personally, honestly, truly. And that is cups and mugs, okay? If you have seen any of my TikTok videos or even the last couple of videos that I posted on videos, uh, YouTube shorts or whatever, I love putting my coffee into cute little cups or cute little mugs. I didn't bring any mugs down because they're kind of in a taller area right now and I'm short and TJ's not here. But I do have these cute little cups. This I got from Amazon. That's kind of like a cute to go cup because I love taking my coffee to work, like let's be real. And then I also have this cute little like clear mug or cup, whatever. Um, and then this one that I got from Marshall. So these two, the ones I showed are from Amazon. And this one I think I got from Marshalls or Home Goods or something along the lines of that. All these were fairly inexpensive. So I think this is a great gift for people that, you know, maybe you don't know too well. They can honestly use it for water too. They do not have to use this for coffee. They can use it for iced tea, whatever they want to do it. I, again, love cute little cups. This is like more of a Mason style cup, but I use it for drinking sparkling water. Like catch me, catch me in a cute little cup, okay? And they have so many different options on Amazon right now. I'll even include some of the ones that I've been trying to get for myself that I might treat myself to later on in the year, but I'll include it on my Amazon storefront. There's like these clear little like Stanley style cups that are just so classy looking and you get the little handle and everything. It's nice, okay? So that's me. I am a cup addict. I love mugs and everything like that too. 
uh, I, you know, you guys have seen some of my mugs, cat person mug. I know that like some people think that mugs are not a great gift. I beg to differ, au contraire. I think that um, a nice mug, a nice personalized mug that shows that you have the same interest as somebody or like that you know their interests, like, you know, I'm a cat person. So if TJ came and brought me a cat person mug, I would think that's so sweet. So I really think that you can do really, really well on a budget with a nice mug or to go style cup or even a glass cup. If your coffee lover is like me and just loves cute cups or loves to bring their coffee to work, maybe they're tempted to buy coffee at work like me. And so they just want something cute to transport it in and, and be fashionable. So that's, that's my opinion, but I think we can safely get into some other options if all of these else fail. And that is coffee or coffee subscriptions. Now, I think it's safe to assume that if you've logged onto this video and you're trying to find a coffee lover, a gift, and you don't think that any of the things I've talked about previously in this video will stick with them, that you don't think it's applicable, that you just don't think that they'll like them, I really do think that <laughs> buying them coffee is probably your best bet, right? They're a coffee lover already. They like certain pods. They like certain coffee beans, coffee grounds, whatever it may be. I think this is a perfect opportunity to show off your coffee skills and buy them a bag of the, either their favorite coffee or a new coffee that maybe they're looking forward to trying. And honestly, buying coffee doesn't really have to be something that's super complicated or super expensive, right? I have a family member that will literally live and die by a certain Keurig pod. And so for Christmas, I bought them a whole bunch of Keurig pods that they like sent it to them on Amazon, very inexpensive with a couple of the coffee accessories that I think they would like with it to take with them to work or whatever it may be. So really, I think that the, the possibilities are endless. If you have an espresso lover that you think would benefit from some more pods, maybe they wanted to try a new pod, but just haven't gone around to buying it, you can easily give some of those. They could even be third-party pods that maybe they're trying to buy, like Pete's Coffee, Starbucks Coffee, whatever it may be. Buy them those pods, buy them those Keurig pods, make it very simple for yourself. Additionally, you can also buy them the refillable pods so that if they want to go out and try, you know, those specialty bags of ground coffee that maybe they just haven't gotten to yet, um, you can always just buy them, you know, the, like the refillable Gista uh, coffee kit that I reviewed in a previous video that I got for the holidays last year, or, you know, a refillable K-Pod or whatever it may be. I think that it, that is something that easily can be done and that would make a great gift for almost anybody. Now, there are some other more like maybe I'll say advanced coffee subscriptions that maybe you're someone like me that you've tried basically every curry pod or every Nespresso pod, or you're just a manual espresso maker that really wants to get more into buying local coffee from a coffee shop or a local roaster and making that at home. With that being said, I think there's coffee subscriptions for you. There's different coffee shops around the area that you can get different beans at if you really want them to grind it there. And that can make a really, really great gift. So I'm gonna go into some of the coffee subscriptions that I either got PR packages from that I think would make great gifts, or we'll talk about some of the other things that I've tried on this channel that I bought and thought that they were pretty good, especially under certain circumstances. So one thing I wanted to talk about was the Trade Coffee subscription. They actually sent me a free bag of coffee. I took this weird like coffee quiz where I put in my preferences and they spit out a certain local roaster that they're gonna send me coffee from that they think would be good based on my preferences that I said in that quiz. And I say they got it pretty good. I really like this. I don't use it too often just because, again, I have so many pods right now. And so with that, I reviewed this on my TikTok. I really liked it. And I think if they have a refillable Nespresso pod or they're a manual espresso maker, this um, is, is a really good option. And you can also customize it to the type of situation that they're working with. You can get different grind sizes for the person. Like I wanted to use it on my espresso machine. So on the quiz, I said I was going to have espresso ground coffee. That's how I wanted it. But if you know somebody that uses a like a plain Mr. Coffee or another drip style machine, you can get it ground a little bit coarser for those type of machines or cold brew makers, and they can easily use this coffee for those situations as well. So it's very flexible and you can't be just regularly ground coffee. You can also get them beans too, and they can take the time to grind them themselves too if they want fresher coffee as well. So very, very different options for different coffee lovers, but I think that a trade subscription for a couple months would be really good. And again, I'll link any sort of um, um, 
discount codes or affiliate codes in my show notes below or on my link tree and you guys can get a little bit of discount for your coffee lover subscription as well but another one that i really liked is actually from a small business it is a coffee concentrate so the best part about this early bird coffee is it's similar to javi in that you don't have to buy a machine to use it you can make coffee at home very easily they gave me or you know in, in the pr package they sent me they wanted me to review it on my tiktok so they gave me this awesome um coffee concentrate bottle with a cute little tablespoon measure and some straws and stuff like that they were really really sweet but i really really like this coffee concentrate and it has become a really nice travel companion when i go to hotels and don't feel like either buying coffee out or don't feel like using their coffee maker or any coffee that they make in house i bring this with me i make a quick cup of coffee all you need is milk and or water and if you want it ice you can make put ice over it like it's really simple to bring to work and make coffee if you don't want to use your curry at work because it tastes like battery acid or anything like that it, it really does it makes a great gift in my opinion and i really struggle with coffee when i travel so i always like having different options Another option for coffee that I really enjoy when I'm traveling is actually the Cometeer coffee that we talked about way before on this channel. And I know I gave it a general view, like really, I, I don't think it's worth spending that much money on a Cometeer subscription if you're trying to look for you know, something that's uh, uh, maybe more affordable or whatever like that. But I do think that if you want something that's very travel um, easy and, and stuff like that, I think that Cometeer is a really good way to have these little pods sitting in your freezer that you can literally just take, put it in your suitcase and put it in a fridge the moment you get to wherever you're going. Um, or if you're like me, sometimes you don't even put it in the fridge and you just enjoy it throughout the days that you're on vacation. Um, you can literally, let much like this, put it over water milk put some ice in it make an easy latte that way so again i think that these are all options that are really good and again i'll put any affiliate uh codes or discounts in my show notes and the last thing i got um another pr thing from javi i really like this protein coffee i know that sounds weird um it's more of an instant style coffee so you can literally just you know put a, a tablespoon or something like that i forget the measurement right now but they come with a little like protein powder kind of scoop or whatever. You put it in your thing, you froth it and mix it with milk and water or whatever combo you want. And you can make a really nice iced coffee that way. And it has protein or whatever in it. So if your coffee lover is also kind of like a fitness junkie or whatever, you can literally get something like this um, and, and it's pretty good. That's my opinion of it. I think there's so many different options when it comes to coffee. You can buy them beans from their local roaster, even gift cards to their local coffee shop where they can go and buy beans from there and grind out however they way they want if for example you struggle to find out what type of machine they have or how fine you need to grind the beans to dial it in or whatever so i don't know about you but i think we went through some very exciting gift ideas and possibilities for your coffee lover and i'm so excited that i got to share this gift guide for y'all a lot of the things on here made me super excited i know i even put some of these if i didn't already have it on my wish list for hopefully my own family to buy their coffee lover <laughs> but from one coffee delivered to the other i think that they'd be happy with anything that you get them i know that you know them the best so these were just some suggestions but i think that you're going to do great and it hopefully you know this coffee list gave you a little bit of a better idea of what they might like and made the holidays a little bit less stressful okay because i know that holidays not only are stressful but can be time consuming trying to get gifts for people and think about gifts for people but also they can be very expensive so i think we gave a wide range of options that are not only good for like idea sake but also good for the budget as well because it's a lot of the holiday season so with that being said that is it for this video but I'm really excited to bring in the new year with y'all. I think I'm not gonna post for two or three weeks to enjoy the holiday. And I wish you and your family and your coffee lover the best of holiday season. Um, and we will recuperate in mid-January with a maybe even a review of the machines or some of the syrups I have right now because I keep saying that I'm gonna review them and I've been really bad about reviewing them. Don't add me. It's the holidays, it's a lot. So yeah, I'm so excited. Please have a great holiday. I'm so excited to hear how you guys' holiday went. Maybe we can do a, uh, you know, gift video where I talk about what I got for Christmas and gave you some more ideas for what to treat yourself with later on in the year. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to get into more details about anything that we talked about, but I also don't want to make this video horrendously long. So yeah, I will let you guys go, but have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Bye guys. Bye.